Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, we've chatted to everyone and explored the grounds as much as we can, so let's go return to Rhea. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm How still very much undecided as to who, who I've picked. I hope you have found or will pick. brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Yes, no darkness to be seen at all. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. Uh. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. Uh, do you make a point of vocalizing your disdain with your leaders? decisions the so publicly eagles, often the blue lions and the golden deer all so different i hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them since you are new here we have decided to allow you first pick manuela and i will take charge of the remaining two houses so it's very unlikely to be these guys. It's probably going to be these guys. But I do really like these guys. Oh, I don't know. Yep. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Correct. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. So presumably this is the point at which it deviates, because obviously there, apparently there's like three branching paths. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Vodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. There's a group of five people with the uh, Archbishop. How could... And we're clearly talking. How could you not mean to interrupt? I'm in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? Love interest? This is our newest professor at the Academy. A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. Ooh. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Cool. So we're going to get to fighting soon. Was wondering that myself. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Hey. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? <laughs> no, leave that up to. You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure <laughs> learning from you, Professor. <laughs> Wonder if any of them recognize me from before. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. So I'll be doing the complete polar opposite of that. I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. Yes, they are a bit. I hear we are rather crew. close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. It's the way I prefer it. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Good, that's what it should be. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. As long as I'm respected as the authority I am. 
But for some people, authority means if you treat me like an authority, I'll treat you like a human. When it should actually just be a case of if you treat me like a human, I'll treat you like a human. Well, alright then. I don't know I'm given that you have a opportunity gut, to answer. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. She has quite a few You can't go around Freudian saying slips. someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I was gonna anyway, but I right. may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with the training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? <sighs> Oh, that's gonna get old pretty quick. Not real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. We're gonna have to iron out that. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Uh, Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? Actually, yes, I did just boil the kettle, so. <laughs> Even sounds like a cat napping. I know we all agree to treat each That's other me. as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Yes. Mutual respect. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, he doesn't seem like the stern guy I was expecting him to be. Uh, they're not normally this rowdy. Ah, uh, they're allowed to be excitable. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Yeah, so do I. Apologies if I sneeze or sniff and also sound a bit nasal. My hay fever is being a pain. Ooh, bonus damage. Some combat arts gain bonus damage against certain types of enemies. In these cases, the damage will be double the, will be double the weapon's might. Interesting. Oh, so we're finally getting... Uh tips on the loading screen. Cool. I did think it was a bit empty. Alright. Oh yeah, we have a calendar, don't we? Oh, just skip a day. Friday. Party Say, day. While you're here... I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Uh. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. <laughs> All right. Off crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Uh -huh. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. So it's a character trait passed through the blood. All Each right. crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, so, me and Gerald should crest, share the same crest. Not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Can I skip a generation? Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. Okay. 
is it like a thing it's like a birthmark which you can both have or does the crest only exist in one person until that person dies and passes it down the line that is how a crest usually presents itself after all oh, I want to know I'm yes, intrigued of course I'll get to the bottom of it straight away now then Please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? Is that the crest from the beginning of the game? The beginning is loading screen? I think there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How Thrilling. How arrogant of you to assume you know everything. <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. Well, you... I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. Well, you told me to clear what my calendar, now? and then all of a sudden this hmm. tells me to show off. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that. Right, okay. With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. The monastery's schedule features different events on different days. Each week you will have one day off, when you may choose an activity from the list. Your only option at first will be explore. Why can I... It says four or five, why can I only look at... Or whatever. Select the calendar with the directional buttons to view the schedule. Whoa. So, first day off. Rescue at dawn. Oh, so. Hubert's birthday. Just seen Empire Founding Day. House Rivalry Battle and Ferdinand's birthday. Well, happy birthday, Ferdinand. You are going to be taking part, my friend. Uh, first day off. What is that? Does that F mean anything? done that. So it's going to a three-way battle. And Ferdy's birdie. Can I skip a month? No. No, right, explore it is. Oh, actually. Ah, go back. One of my goals. Oh, good lord. Uh, it's the Sims. I gotta please everyone. So, <clears throat> this is what they're good at, is it? Aha! Uh -huh. yeah, this is how I check everyone. Everyone's statistics. Oh, I was able to look at all three houses soon, so I guess it makes sense I can only look at these th these guys now. Cool. Support. <laughs> CBA. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what any of that means, but alright. I'm sure I will learn in time. Any quests? No, done that one. And I 
can look at my calendar whenever I want. Cool. Well, let's save just to make sure. And let's go for a little walk. Nice little nod to the other games with that ring. You mean so soul something? I can't remember her name. Bulletin board. What's on the bulletin board? Uh, greetings, all. Please, this we're catching a delectable fish at the Saint Kathleen celebration. Oh yeah, there's fishing. Oh my god, you genuinely don't know how much that makes me happy. And there's gardening. <laughs> oh yes, and there's meals. Cool. So Flame, Dudu, and Sylvain. Alrighty. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Yes, you mean that room I just left from. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking uh. of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Well, that is kind of the point of a teacher, is it not? Uh, so where is this place in comparison to everything else? Right. This map is very garbled. <laughs> you should be able to turn off the little people dots. So I can have a proper look at it. Anyway. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Okay. The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the officer's academy is welcome to make use of. For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. Yeah. I suggest visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students, faculty, and various workers here. Doggy dog dog dog. Have you noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. Okay. The bulletin board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. Oh, I'll be checking out a little more of that. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If you oh, use really? them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So, percent activities will only be available while you have activity points. Uh, when you are done exploring, press the L button to end your free time and proceed to the next week. Getting a some is expected from professors Persona the vibes, despite account. the fact I've never so played it's Persona. important to hone your skills. To put it plainly, you'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. I definitely don't underestimate Dimitri. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. <laughs> Listen to this. Hi. What's 
up hither. Hey there. Sauna. Nice. Can I go in said sauna? Probably not. Nope, no, no alright. Well, at least now I know where it is where I can come and chill. Uh, oh yeah, the weird dude. Caspar. Alright, Caspar, what you got to say? Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. Perhaps that's why he doesn't After like me. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. Hey, you and me both, kid. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. Uh... <laughs> I always find those sorts of voices funny because they just sound so exhausted. I like... care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. All right, Vega, chill out. Professor. Getting a Hello. a little bit of Kingdom Hearts vibe with the music as well. Okay, good. So it is literally just a case of they all contain the same info. I was going to get worried if they didn't. Can't chat with any of you. Hello, Ferdy. Let me tell you the provenance of our class name. The eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. Making the armor black must be a pain. Um, so... So the blue people are the people, or the blue dots are the... ...like-minded students, which is a little bit confusing. Or, uh, students of my... ...my team, which is a little confusing, given the fact that the blue lions I would've thought would be blue, but alright. Hi, Dorothea. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. Okay, so we're actually going to go anywhere. <sighs> what was that? <laughs> uh, let's see what these guys have to say to me. Before I came to the Officer's Academy, I attended a school of magic in the kingdom capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Yes, you definitely don't sound like a 22 year old. Uh... The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus, Lug. The King of Lions wore brilliantly blue garments. Lou. Chivalric exploits L are recorded in multiple Man, regions. these... I don't know if they have the same names in the Japanese version, but regardless if it's the localizers or the just the creators, they need to work on their names. The library Lug. holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with it. Just call people things like David and Mark and Bob. Good lord. This makes life so much easier for everyone. It does not detract from your storytelling or whatever. It really doesn't. If anything, it makes them more... Not memorable, but you connect with them more. Hi. This is the Golden Deer House. You're too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity... Uh, okay. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. I am so happy that they pronounce it Lester and not Lesister, which a lot of non-English people do. Even some English people do it, but yeah. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. 
you should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Alrighty then. I can go this way now, yay. Let me see. <gasps> Is this the garden? Amiibo gazebo. <laughs> I like that. All right. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? Is this how I'm going to learn how to soft reset? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? Uh. But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. How to avoid killing your students. Which is going to be interesting, actually, because if it is students that die, it's going to get a little dark. Maybe I'm just going to purposely kill off all the... Uh, all the nobility. No, because that would be pretty much everyone. <laughs> hey, What's going on here? Oh, this is cute. Find items. A blowfly. Cool. Well, we've got our supplies to start fishing and gardening, so that's something. Okay. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. I mean... Who are you? As it were, let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal as thanks for your service to his hunt. I have a request. There's a dish I would like to make, but I need more of a certain vegetable to do so. I was planning to grow it from the seeds in the greenhouse, but if you'd like to help. Why not? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to do seed I want you to know, Professor, for us to, to do as we see fit. I declare my intention to prevail it. Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. Dude, I'm not your teacher. I don't care. <laughs> Hilda. Well, this place is expensive. I see more items. A smithing stone. An Albanian berry blend. Can I make coffee? Can we a barista? Barista? Eh. Hmm. <sighs> this place is huge. All right, what are you going to say? Oh, professor, have you adjusted to life at the academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, Teach, I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe... What? Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit... I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. I mean, I don't think it's physically possible to not check her out. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> yeah, and there's no... Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Oh, uh, we're going to have some foodies. So we need a turnip, onion, and a fish. <laughs> I didn't see what kind. I don't like to come out unless I hope you're okay with that, Professor. Hmm. Let's see if we can coax her out of her anxiety. See what we can do about that. Not that it necessarily needs something to be done about it, but seems like an awful waste. That that wasn't. Um, uh, 
Oh, what's the one I'm looking for? Oh, food. That wasn't being introverted. That was just, that seemed more like anxiety, to be honest. Introverted, I can get along with. I'm introverted. But, uh... Anxiety, something that can be done about that. Oh, yes, you wanted me to help you with Hello something, there, didn't professor. you? Well, I call you that. But I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student, and the monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? Yeah, I love fishing. Not in real life. I'd never go fishing, but I love the idea of fishing in video games. I think it all spawned from a... Uh, Link's Awakening, the fish Amazing. machine mini game in that. Something. I used to love that. Yeah, that's spa. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look. Ooh, feisty. Dining stuff. Uh, we'll just eat something. I really then. need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Hmm. His voice doesn't quite match up with his uh, body, so to speak. His, uh, yeah, I guess it's just me. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of walking around and uh, uh, talking to people. So it's possible I will kind of cut some of this out and like things of no consequence you don't need to see. Unless it's something like I'll record it all and then edit it at a later date. So... Any, anyone that says something funny, I'll be sure to show you. Or anything of importance as well. If my ways of speak... Uh, of speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. Yes, I guess I'll be forgiving. At least you're not as annoying as Tama from World of Final Fantasy. I haven't played the game, but the demo enough was enough to put me off that game. I don't know. I, d I don't know wh why there is a stylistic choice to make her put the in the middle of every sentence, or not even in the middle, just randomly in a sentence. That just irritates the hell out of me. All right, so that's this place. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be sparring with Felix. Have I chatted with everyone up here? Yes, I have. So, further south. You guys haven't seen? Nope. Oh, where are we now? Ooh, greenhouse and fishing pond. Or well, at least they're close to each other. Well, isn't that just darling? <laughs> the dude's face. What is my life? What is this existence? Hello, Cyril. I'm a little busy. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right there. I'm a little bit. Yeah, fine. Wondering if you could uh redo answers. I guess that would be a bit cheesy though. <laughs> ah, invisible walls everywhere. Kitty. Fish keeper. Yes, meow to you too. Unbelievable. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If, well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent all... Interesting. So if I was to say take issue with the Church of Seros, I could let one of these Kitty Winkles die in battle, and that would look unfavorably upon you guys, at which point, uh, my own goals can be put into action. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look at fishing, shall we? Actually, so I want to... I pray to thee. No, oh, she's Please extra religious. I say extra religious is not like a... <laughs> like a size. 
thing. They're like fries, extra fries. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really in there are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home. And herbs I never even knew existed. Ah, oh, look at the commoner marveling in the wonder of the world. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. Cool, that'll be you useful. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe? Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought as much. Cool. Alright, I will... Oh, yeah, I like you. That sounded a bit creepy. Oh, the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I'll bear that in mind. I just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave it for the next episode where we will... I mean, I've only got one action point, so it's going to be a case of either gardening or fishing. I might... I'm unsure which one I'm going to do. But uh, we'll find out next time. I'll see you there.